Hi, I'm Bryce, and this week on Phytex Tech Tuesday, we're going to go over the installation of a Force Fuel Mini. We have this 1964 Chevy Nova in the shop and it is a perfect vehicle for showing the installation of the Force Fuel Mini. Even with a tight engine compartment, the Force Fuel Mini can be mounted in various positions with a versatile mounting bracket. Let's get started by choosing a location to mount our Force Fuel Mini. The Force Fuel Mini can be mounted almost anywhere in a vehicle including the core support, inner fender, or under the vehicle on the frame. The Force Fuel Mini can be mounted in any orientation as long as the return fitting is the highest point on the module. We recommend a vertical mounting position for best performance. The Force Fuel Mini system includes 5 feet of high pressure fuel hose so it is expected to mount the module somewhere within 5 feet of the throttle body. Make sure you choose a position where the fuel hose can be routed without getting close to any hot or moving parts. Choose the best mounting plate location out of the four available positions on the module. In our installation, that is going to be the back mounting position. There is also two mounting positions on the side and one on the bottom to choose from. Dry fit your Force Fuel Mini and make sure that you have adequate space around it and mark your areas to drill your holes for mounting the surge tank. Drill the necessary holes to mount the Force Fuel Mini and bolt the Force Fuel into place. Now your Force Fuel Mini is securely mounted onto the vehicle, we are ready to plumb the fuel lines. Determine your necessary hose lengths. You will need three hose lengths, one that will run from the stock transfer pump to the Force Fuel Mini, the second from the Force Fuel Mini to the throttle body itself using the supplied 5 foot of high pressure hose, and the third one will be the return line that runs back from the tank from the Force Fuel Mini. Start by routing the supplied high pressure line from the throttle body down to the red pressure port on the Force Fuel Mini. While routing this line, look for a spot to mount the 10 micron fuel filter for easy accessibility and servicing in the future. Next we'll hook up the fuel line for the stock fuel pump up to the Force Fuel Mini. Now it is time to install the return bung fitting to the fuel tank. Here we're going to demonstrate how to do this process on a piece of sheet metal, but the process is the same at the tank. Start by drilling a small pilot hole into the top corner section of the fuel tank. Then move to a step drill, apply some grease to the step drill, and drill your hole out to a half an inch. Insert your return bung with the gasket at the base and the bolt on the outside. Using a 1 inch open end wrench, hold the return bung into place while tightening the bolt on the top with a 9 16 wrench. Keep tightening until the bung is snug against the fuel tank and then you can remove the bolt. Once the bolt is removed, install the AN6 male fitting as your return line fitting point. Finally install the return line onto the return line fitting and tighten it. The big things to remember with installing your force fuel systems with Phytech is to make sure that your return port is the highest point of the force fuel module itself. After that, your mounting possibilities are almost endless, and as long as you follow that highest point and install your return bung safely back to the gas tank, you're going to have a breeze of an installation. If you have any other additional questions with this week's Tech Tuesday or have ideas for future videos, please comment them down below.